because it's a dark time of year. You see, we put up these bright lights. We like to, when, when things get really dark, and things get really cold, and things get really worrisome, and we get really afraid, it's nice to have a light in the dark, isn't it? Yeah. And one of my favorite Christmas stories is a story about a light in the darkness. And as a matter of fact, it's such a famous Christmas story that it's actually often told in a song. Yeah. Now maybe you know this song. If you celebrate Christmas at your house, you've probably heard this song before. Even if you haven't, I'm sure you've heard it before. It's a famous Christmas song about light in the darkness. It goes like this. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny tail. And if you ever... Wait a minute. It's the first, it's just the beginning of the season. I always sort of forget my songs until we get right into the role of the season. Yeah, we got, we've established that. Right, okay. Right. It glows. It, it glows. Is that the way it goes? Yeah. Oh, of course, because glows rhymes with... No. no, and it's one of those rhyming stories. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay I got it. Rudolph the Red Nose. Yeah, that's a good one. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer wish their noses were red like him because they thought, man, that's a bomb. You know, look at this guy. He's so bold coming out here. Got a red nose and everything. Yeah. Yeah. What? Sorry, I should make an apology right now for all the moms and dads in the room. I, this is a sadder story than I remember. I, I'm sorry, I thought it was a happy story, but it's about how mean kids can be to each other just because you're a little different. Oh man, says Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Yeah. And then how the reindeer loved him, all them fickle reindeer, right? He proved himself now with the red nose and everything, right? And then they, they jumped around and they say, like, oh, all of a sudden Santa likes Rudolph, so now we better get close to Rudolph, you know, because we want Santa to like us. See, look, Santa, we're nice to Rudolph, right? Well, okay, you guys, I guess you got me straight on the story. But I know what has red nose would shine. Some even said glow. But because he was different, he suffered abuse. Until one foggy night, Santa Claus found a use for his beacon, so brilliant, so rosy, so bright. Santa harnessed him up to a sleigh for a lot. So... The weather, the dark, the darkness was braved, and Christmas was saved, and Rudolph the Reindeer won all of our hearts. He soon became famous, and his song topped the charts. Rudolph the Great, he was hailed by the crowd. But, as sometimes happens, all of this praise made Rudolph haughty and proud. The little reindeer thought Rudolph was best, so they mimicked his manner. The way that he dressed, they even began painting their own noses red. And this emulation went straight to his head. Let's see, wait a minute. Let me see if I can bring Rudolph in. It's quite charming, really, could be an and quaint, but I'm the original beyond all compare, he'd proudly proclaim as he pranced through the air. And if while parading he happened to pass a silvery stream, a mirror, a glass, he'd pause to admire his reflection and features. Oh, it's true, isn't it? I'm the finest of creatures. My luminous nose with its ruby red shine, my antlers so branchy, I'm simply divine! One winter's day, as he pranced through the trees, he discovered a lake just beginning to freeze, and it shone like a mirror in the afternoon sun, so Rudolph indulged in his favorite fun. He leapt into the air, turning back to admire his reflection below. As he flew ever higher, higher and higher, he flew, looking back, higher and higher, when suddenly, quack! He flew into a tree, hit it right in the top. 
faltered a moment and started to draw up. Oh, <laughs> but his antlers were caught in the branches below. Hopelessly caught and would not let go. <laughs> oh. The sun started setting. The stars twinkled out. And Rudolph, ensnared in that tree, gave a shout, Help me, somebody! Help me get free! Somebody come to me! I'm stuck in this tree! <laughs> but they were all busy, for Christmas was nearing, and Rudolph was far away, out of their hearing, and so there he remained in a sad situation, stuck in that tree, like a large decoration. There he remained until Christmas Eve night, when Santa proclaimed, Oh, 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 oh. We don't need Rudolph's light. The sky is quite clear, and since Rudolph's away, we'll have a new train of reindeer on our sleigh. Now Dasher, now Dana, Dancer, now Donna, now Blitzen, on Comet, on Scoopin', on Snoopy, and Nixon. Jump onto the wind, grab onto her tail. We've joy to deliver, and we must not fail. Now on to the rooftops of good girls and boys, and I'll down the chimney with candy and toys. Oh, 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 they blew right over poor Rudolph and just kept on going. And to make matters worse, it then started snowing. The snow covered Rudolph and he began freezing. He caught a bad cold, started coughing, had wheezing, but that cold made his nose shine as bright as a star. It flashed like a flare and was seen from afar. And as Santa was on his way home for the night, he saw a tall tree with a red flashing light. And so Rudolph was rescued and safely returned, and much humbler after this lesson he'd learned. And Santa learned something quite useful as well. For you see, a tree with a light makes it easy to tell just how low you're flying and what's in your way, and that's very important for low flying sleigh. And that's why today, if you look out at night, you'll see the tall buildings all have a red light. When you see those red lights, take heart and have cheer. They remind us that Rudolph is with us all year. And that's the story of Rudolph's light. See, that's what happened.